Hello everyone, welcome to Dada's Food Crave Kitchen. If this is your first time tuning into my channel, I want to thank you and a big welcome. I also want to thank all my returning subscribers for all this love and the support that you guys been giving me and for keep watching all my videos. Um, in this video, I am going to be making a delicious drink called Sorel drink. In Gambia, we call it Wonjo, some will say Bisab. So if you are interested in seeing how I make this delicious healthy drink, please stay tuned and without any further ado, let's get started. So what you're going to need is the sorrel leaf or some will say bisab. There's another name for it called hibiscus tea or hibiscus drink. This drink is very, very, very delicious and very healthy for you guys. So this is how the sorrel leaf hibiscus bisab leaf look like i know i'm trying to kind of con confuse you guys but they have a uh, many they have many many names for it so as you can see usually i do not measure but i just wanted to show you guys how many cups i'm using that green cup that i'm using right there that green cup is total two cups it's a two cup um cup so i use like six cups total but like i said usually i don't measure i just pour the amount of quantity i want it depends how much strong you want it if you don't want it too strong you can make like one cup or two cup of um the leaf so this is a good way of starting to make your sorrel drink your wonjo bisab as some will say you want to make sure you rinse these guys so many times as much as you can because the way these um, leaves are prepared, it's pretty much like I said. I, you know, I bought it from Gambia. Um, a, a friend of mine sold it from me, from that sells um, African stuff. But regardless where it comes from, you always want to make sure you rinse your leaf thoroughly because, mind you, it comes with a lot of dust and, and sand in it. So you want to make sure you rinse it as many times until you don't see any. Um, sand residue on the water so I've, I rinse my my sorrel leaf my wonjo leaf um, bisab like I would say like four times and I will show you guys why it is necessary for you guys to rinse it don't just open the pack or or the bag and start boiling you have to rinse it it's very very important now as you can see there this is why I took I said it's necessary to rinse your leaf whether those are dust or sand but they look like sand to me so you don't really want to drink that and have it in your stomach it's a no-no as you can see I'm rinsing it again like I said I rinse it like three or four times you know you want to be you want to be better you say better be safe than sorry you know that was the second time that's the third time I rinse it like four times so once it's thoroughly rains and you know and you you haven't seen any sand or dust into it now you are ready and safe to go so what you're gonna do is you need some vanilla flavor you need sugar and that's all you need and you need a strainer as well and a funnel and a nice clean bowl as you can see this was um, the draining from the sorrel drink like I said if you don't want to boil it I boil mine if you really want the benefit of the sorrel you want to boil it so that it will have the full benefit of it if you don't want to boil it you could simply just soak it with warm water or just soak it with cold water and for me I don't see the full benefit of it I think boiling it you will definitely have the full benefit of this drink it's almost like cranberry juice but I have to look it up cranberry juice and sorrel drink which one really is more healthy but it's almost like cram you drinking cranberry juice so what I did was I boiled a full kettle of water 
I didn't start off with cooking it with cold water. I wanted to, to pour really boiling hot, hot water into the pot. And then I'm going to continue from there boiling it some more. So that will have all that, like I said, that full benefit of the drink. So you want to pour as much water as you can depending on the size of your pot. Pour some hot water in it. If you forget to boil hot water, it's okay. You can start off boiling it with cold water as long as it's boiled. That's fine. You could also add, I know some places like I, I believe the Jamaicans or whatnot, they add like you can add like one root of ginger into the, um, the the boiling pot you can add one root of ginger in there and boil boil it along with your sorrel drink i believe some say some add some rum in it too but you know my son drinks this so and i'm not a you know i don't use alcohol that much so if you feel like you want to add some rum in it that's fine but you can also add one root of ginger into the into the pot so that it will boil along with the sorrel drink as you can see it's already boiled and it's really red so I'm adding more boiling water into it it's so simple guys and like I said if you are new to my channel please kindly um, hit that subscribe button and hit your notification bell because you're always gonna be the first to be notified whenever I upload a video as you can see you see how red it is it's almost look like cranberry juice like i said in gambia we call it wanjo some place call it bisab this is the red bisab they have the green bisab this is the red bisab it's also called sorrel leaves sorrel tea so what you want to do now is just make sure you strain it out like so So I am going to boil the sorrel for the second time like I said depending on how much you're making I'm also pouring more hot water into it I'm go gonna boil it for the second time you could boil it to the third time too if you want if it's too strong just add water into it and dilute it so I'm gonna boil it like I said for the second time I'm not gonna boil it for the third time the second time will be just enough for me Like you can see it's already boiled for the second time I'm just gonna strain that juice out as well the more you keep boiling it the more you're gonna see the, the color is gonna be more clear so you're gonna strain it out for the second time like that This is how it looks like after it's already boiled like you see in the beginning it was all hard and rough but once it's boiled all the leaves start loosening up so now I'm gonna add my sugar to taste and I know it looks like the pouring of the sugar seems a lot but it's not a lot it was roughly a total of you know two and a half cups of um, sugar you can add like I said you don't have it depending on the size and how sweet you want your drink to be so I'm gonna add my artificial vanilla flavor which is white just to give it a flavor first I like to add my sugar everything that I need to mix into my drink before I can strain it out I needed more sugar so I'm gonna add a little bit more like I said it looks like a lot you know always add your own sugar to your own taste this was the my preference so I add as much sugar as I want to my taste this drink like I said is very 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 nutrition and very very um, it's a powerful drink it's really really good 
it helps with your immune system your um, your um, your skin you know anything that is like I said I always say anything that you have to make naturally like things like drinks like this it's even better than soda you know this soda that we drink is not it's not healthy for us I know like I said and, and again one thing I want to mention you don't really have to add this um, not um, white sugar to it you can add any type of sugar if you are a type of person that drink um, they use um, sweetener like you know like those sweetener sugar that's fine you know any type of sugar you want to add to it that's fine so I'm gonna strain it out for the first time in the second time and voila uh, Sorel drink is ready I uh, want your drink is ready as we call it in Gambia the taste is perfect for me I don't need to add any more sugar I added half of the vanilla flavor and then I have another almost empty bottle that I added to it, it looks like I added the whole vanilla flavor to it but it was just like um, half so what you want to do is just want to put some ice to it and and enjoy your drink if you guys try this recipe and you guys have any question for me let me know leave your comment down below so usually as I always do I will put some of the drink into a plastic bottle for a grab to go whenever I want to have something to drink on the road if I'm going out so voila as you can see I put some in the plastic bottle for a grab to go and this is the Sorel drink like I said if you are new to my channel um, please come back for more and subscribe to my channel and leave your comment down below and I'll see you guys in my next video I hope you guys enjoy this video and I thank you all for the love and the support that you have been constantly giving me and I'll see you guys bye bye thank you ta ta